Good morning, I'm Evangeline Taylor, and this devotion uh, is for Wednesday, February the 3rd, 2021. We'll begin with a portion of Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Ephesians 3, verses 14 to 19. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Let us pray. O Lord, thou wilt not let me go. I love thee more than I can say. I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean's depth its flow may richer, fuller be. Here we find the Apostle Paul in a Roman prison accused of high treason and awaiting trial, a trial before Nero himself. Paul had hoped to be set free soon, either by acquittal, which would allow him to acquire and continue his work, or death, where he would be welcomed to his eternal home. But as Paul waited, he decided to center his thoughts on God's limitless love and he would pray that the people of God would do likewise. Paul wanted us to know the breadth of God's love. Jesus' love for people encompassed everyone. Paul knew that God's love is wonderfully wide. He loves the whole world. He prayed that we might know the length of God's love. Is there a time limit on God's love for us? No, his love is everlasting with no beginning, a love as eternal as God himself. And when will his love for us stop? Is it bound by time? We might guess when we stop obeying him or when we fall into sin. Maybe we have a certain number of times listed on the scrolls of heaven that we are each allowed to sin and be forgiven. No. Paul included in his prayer that he wanted the followers of Christ to know the depth of God's love. As the Bee Gees sang in the 1970s, how deep is your love? We just need to look at the life of Jesus to know that God was willing to send his son down a deep path. Someone wrote, from the throne of universe of the universe to earth, from Galilee to Gethsemane to Galgatha to the grave. Now that's deep. In the old days, when a sailing ship crept around the world, it had to keep close to the shore. A linesman would stand in the bow of the boat and cast a weighted line into the sea. He would report his findings on how deep or how shallow the water was beneath the keel. The best word was, no bottom with this line, that describes the love of Christ, bottomless. 
any line that we might imagine is far too short to measure the depth of which God is willing to go in his love for us. Finally, Paul prayed that God's people might know the height of God's love. The hymn writer puts it this way. How good is the God we adore, our faithful, unchangeable friend. His love is as great as his power and knows neither measure nor end. In Paul's third chapter of his letter to the Ephesians, he ends the letter with this prayer. Let us pray also. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than we can ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And thanks be to God. <laughs>